Hey guys, what's up? It's Daniel with TrailerMountain.com and today I'm testing and reviewing some hiking shoes that I just got from Trexta. So these are the Evolution 161 Mid GTX. So these are a mid-high uh, waterproof hiking shoe, Gore-Tex, and there's a ton of technology built into these shoes. So super excited about it. Met with these guys at Outdoor Retailer last year, and I'm finally going to be unboxing these. So super excited about it. Let's get the box uh, open. We'll get the camera turned around, and then I'll go over the features and benefits. So I'll do a follow-up review on these as well after I've used them for a couple of couple of weeks and just really you know break them in for one. Number two, see how they do on a long day hike, and just give you my thoughts. All right, so here you have the Evolution Mid. 161 GTX. Now these are Gore-Tex right here. Gore-Tex waterproof shoe. Now these are really light right out of the box. So I'm gonna take this stuff out. And I wanna get these on my scale. I wanna see how much this thing weighs. Just one. All the papers out of it. They're just about, just under a pound each but they feel really light. They feel like a sneaker. Now these have a lot of technology built into them, as I said, and I wanna start with uh, what they call the Nestfit system. Now Nestfit is proprietary to Trexta, but when you when you consider what Nestfit is, okay, so normally you see most shoes have like, the high point is pretty much dead center. Now Nestfit, what they do is they take the high point and put it towards your big toe. So the most highest point, you know, on the front of the shoe, on the last, is the big toe. So that's what they did here, and you can kind of see how it's almost like kind of scalloped around here for the idea that, you know, everything slopes downward. You know, like your big toe is the biggest, and then everything gets smaller down to your pinky. Now what's cool about this, it has a very wide toe box, so your toes are allowed to splay outward and have a lot of ton, you know, have a ton of room inside. And what's important about that is, for one, it reduces fatigue. Number two, it makes your feet happier. It also gives you a more natural um, stance which increases body alignment too so makes you more comfortable allowing you to hike longer and more comfortable if you can see the way the front of the shoe is right here you have your high point right up here by your big toe and then everything slopes downward towards the pinky another thing too is the lace position if you see the lace position on the shoe so normally the laces are in like the middle of the shoe with the lace system they put it off to the side off to the arch of the high point of your foot so it's going to really lock down onto the foot as well as increase the overall comfort and stability of the shoe while it's on your foot. Now, Trexta has done multiple uh, testing on the actual Nestfit system, and it actually reduces muscle fatigue by 31% and also foot pressure by 23%. So really, really nice design. These guys put a lot of thought into this shoe. Trexta did 3D scanning of over 20,000 different feet uh, to come up with the Nestfit system. You know, there's 226 bones and 33 joints in your foot. You know, you want mobility, but you want to be able to protect and preserve the amount of pounding your feet go through on a daily basis, especially on a long hike or even if you're trail running. So that's where the Nestfit comes in, and that's where it really makes a difference in the actual shoe. Now, this is an all-season hiker, okay? So you can take this thing in every single season, and you'll be totally fine. With the technology that's built in, with the ice lock technology, the Nestfit, um the hypergrip, everything that's on here, you're really gonna have a good time while you're hiking in this shoe. All right, so let's talk about hypergrip. Hypergrip, right there. Now, hypergrip's been around for a really long time, and what they do is they incorporate both grip and durability, so the outsole's gonna last a really, really long time, and that's what you want in a hiking shoe like this. Hypergrip's been around for over 25 years, so, I mean, you could just see just the, the outsole alone with the lugs and everything. This thing's gonna have tons of traction. It's also going to take a beating for a long time. On the side here, where you see IST. That stands for Independent Suspension Technology. You know everybody's got an acronym for everything nowadays. So the Independent Suspension Technology means that the outsole here has independent lugs that move independently from one another. So if you're stepping on uneven surfaces and one lug compresses, the other lugs will, co will compensate for that, which is really, really great especially if you're walking on uneven terrain. It also increases superior shock absorption too, which is awesome. Because you know, your feet, your knees, your joints are not shock absorbers. So really, really nice that you have 
technology built into the bottom of your shoe that's going to help support that. Another part of it is you see this right here where it says ice lock. Let's see if I can get a little closer. Ice lock. Ice lock technology is built into these lugs right here. So what Trexta did is they took micro glass filaments and incorporated it into the rubber here. Um, so that's the reason why these are going to be super sticky and have extreme traction on really wet surfaces like ice or you know snow embankments and stuff like that, or even black ice. They did wet, uh, wet slip tests on just wet ground as well as black ice, and these things excelled uh, immensely with the uh, with the ice lock technology lugs here. Now these are you can see the vertical stripes, so you know which ones are which, and just feeling them. They have, I don't know if I can get close enough, the uh, the lugs, you can't really see it in the lugs, but the lugs feel like, um, it feels like shark skin almost. It's very rough. But as I said, the micro glass filaments that are built into here are incorporated into the rubber. So it's not something that's going to wear out. It will wear as the shoe wears, but it's not going to go anywhere. It's not going to wear off. Last but not least, of course, you have Gore-Tex and a nice little heel pull right here to help put them on. You also have the nice little lace locks right here to really secure this down around to the uh, around the ankle. And you can see that the outs or the the liner here, I mean, that thing goes all the way around, pretty much all the way to the top of the boot. Now, one thing that's proprietary about the Gore-Tex on this boot is that Trexta put on an olophobic uh, membrane. And what that means is that basically reduce the amount of uh, oils that can impregnate the uh, Gore-Tex lining. It also protects against insect repellent. So if you're putting insect repellent or just the natural oils from your skin can get into the membrane of Gore-Tex and can cause it to fail. Trexta thought one step ahead and actually put a membrane uh, treatment on the Gore-Tex that protects against both of those. Not only that, but their boots are guaranteed waterproof. Now what's cool about the uh, Gore-Tex is that per square inch, there's nine billion uh, microscopic pores. So the pores are 20,000 times smaller than a water droplet, but they're about 700 times larger than a wa than water vapor. And what that means is basically it allows perspiration to escape out of the shoe, out of the boot, while keeping your feet dry, which is great. So it doesn't allow any water to get in. Now granted, you go in deep and it goes over the ankle, you're done. You're getting soggy sock and it's going to be wet anyway, so it doesn't matter. But if it's from here down, you're good. Let's talk about the insole. I'm going to get this out of here because the insole is pretty uh, remarkable in its own right. So here's the bottom of the insole right here, and it has nice little cushioning around the heel. This is also incorporating with the Nesfit system, and it has airline ventilation system right there. I can see that. It's also what they do is, I don't know if you can see it in the video here, but you can see there's like a ridge right here. This is called the Soltis Crest. Basically, there's a little gap that, you know, when your foot is sitting on it, there's a little gap right underneath your, your toes in between your big toe, and there's a little arch right here. I'll see if I can maybe move this around so you can kind of see it. That's a little better. You can kind of see that little ridge right here, and that's basically it's what they call the Soltis Crest of the foot. And you can see the other side of it right here, the way that it's raised, this little channel right here. So that's going to, as I said, increase the uh, the comfort of the, the, the foot box as well as your toes. And your toes are allowed to splay out inside the shoe, which is great. You know, I like my feet to, you know, splay out. I don't like them rubbing on the outside or over here on the pinky, which they tend to do. But you can even see the design of the outsole to incorporate that nest fit system. As I said, it's not completely circular or have the high point here. The high point's here at the big toe, and then it kind of scallops down towards the pinky. Really deep heel cup to increase your overall foot, um, to increase the oat. And what that's going to do is it's going to increase the overall feel around the heel. It's also going to seal everything in and make sure your feet don't slide around. And you can see the nice arch support here. And there's also arch support built in. You can kind of see the hump right there, slightly. I don't know, it's kind of hard to see in this lighting, but really, really nice insole. And the insole is very flexible and, you know, very, very lightweight. Inside the boot, you can see your Gore-Tex liner right there. Everything is stitched together very, very nicely. Even the uppers right here, very well made, very well constructed. Everything is stitched together, very nice. 
Trexta logo right on the front. You know me, I'm a big fan of branding. It's also on the tongue. And the Trexta logo on the back too. It does have nice little bash guards on the heel as well as one up front by the toes. So that's really going to help keep the uh, boots from getting messed up and it's going to make them last a lot longer too. The laces are real nice as well. They have this really intricate kind of a weave to them and that's really going to help increase the durability. You know, I need a traditional little lace tabs right there in the end. All in all, the overall design, I really like. You know, it looks nice. It looks like a good, well-built boot, and it's definitely going to take a beating over time. So there it is. Let's get these uh, let's get these bad boys on, and I'll do some hiking over the next couple weeks. Imagine I'm really going to like them. These, these shoes are award-winning. All right, guys, so that's my review of the Evolution 161 from Trexta. Now, these are the mid-hikers. Gore-Tex, tons of features and benefits built into a boot like this, and they're built to last, especially waterproof and with tons of technology. These things should be pretty sweet. So as I said, I'm going to do some hiking with these over the next few weeks, and I'll give you my final thoughts after my, uh, after my testing is complete. But I wanted to do this unboxing video just so I can go over the features and benefits of the Trexta boots. So some people may have not seen the Trexta shoes before or even worn them or even tried them on. Um, I've tried these on several times and several other pairs of Trexta when I went to Outdoor Retailer last year and I really like the design. I like the technology and the forward thinking that the company has. So as I said, let's get these bad boys on the trail for a while and then we'll follow up with another video. So stay tuned for that. If you like my review and you want to just buy some of these for yourself without hearing my, uh, my follow-up, click on that link down in my description box below and make your purchase. When you do, it helps support my YouTube channel and my website. If you guys have any questions or comments, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about them. Leave them down in my comment section down below and I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Also too, please like, share, and subscribe. Here's the like button right down here. Give this video a thumbs up for me if you found it informative and subscribe. Here's the subscribe button right here. When you click on that, you're going to stay up to date on all the latest gear reviews that I'm working on here at Trail Mountain. The best way to stay connected is to head on over to my website. When you go there in the lower right hand corner, there's going to be a little pop up that shows up where you can put in your email address and click submit. So when you do that, you're going to have access to my website as well as there's a bunch of exclusive content that's only on my website that's not on my YouTube channel. So it's the best place to stay connected on all the latest and greatest gear reviews that I'm working on. On a side note, we are hiking the John Muir Trail this year. Uh, probably September-ish, maybe late August, early September, and we're raising money for a great cause and great charity called Big City Mountaineers. Click on that picture up there. It's going to take you to a website where you can make a tax-deductible donation. Donations start at $10 to as much as you want to give. We're not keeping a penny of it. All the money goes directly to Big City Mountaineers and the Summit for Someone program. Now, if you don't know what they do, Big City Mountaineers takes inner-city youth kids uh, and takes them out into the wilderness for a week at a time and teaches them, you know, team building, positivity, gives them a real positive environment to thrive. And they really care about these kids. So it's a great cause. You know, these kids normally wouldn't have this kind of experience in their life. So they do a lot of good in this world and it's definitely a worthy cause. Also too, stay tuned for a video because I'm putting together a bunch of different gear in a big gear gift basket that we're going to raffle off for the charity as well. So all that 100% of the money doesn't come to Trail of Mountain, doesn't come to me. It goes all the all to Big City Mountaineers and the Summit for Someone program. So keep that in mind. We're funding the John Muir Trail all on our own. So thanks again for tuning into my latest video. I really appreciate it. Please keep checking back for more gear reviews, outdoor-related hodgepodge, gear talk, and giveaways. Take care, guys. Get outdoors. <music>